When I was really sick, I had decided to die. I went to London to say goodbye to my family. I was too sick to be able to show up. I had a phone call from my ex-wife at the time and I could hear the difference in energy on the telephone. And it was like, wow, she's got everything that I've ever wanted for her. Everything that I tried to give her, she suddenly had. And I went, wow, there's something there. I would like to have that. Having an awareness of the rose, or you had the possibility of having the awareness of the roses in your, in your life. So just by asking your body, you're actually opening up more consciousness, not just for you. Be you and change the world. Yeah? Yeah, it's cool. So would you now be willing to give the earth whatever energy it requires or desires? Cool. And anything that doesn't allow that to happen with total ease, joy and glory, would you now be willing to destroy and create it? Yes. Cool. It's like feelings. Do they last forever or do they come and go? Energy can be like that too. So what are you sensing in your body at the moment? Yeah? So... Oh wow, I can't talk in church. <laughs> now I know why there's a whole bowl up here for Dane because he can't. <laughs> How do you feel paying 75 bucks to watch somebody chew the night? Cool, so where have we made consciousness the last resort? It's the last thing we'll do. Is your body conscious? No, is your body conscious? I think my body is, but my, my mind works against it. As I moved my hand away, there was a spark about an inch and a half long. He's pulling energy through your body one way, and I'm pulling energy down through the other way. There is a mountain there called Goatfell Mountain and it's one just over a kilometre high. And for three days my body was going, I want to go up there, I want to go up there. I had the point of view that I was still, you know, weak and pathetic and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and your point of view creates your reality. And, uh, so I started asking, okay, so what, what will it take for me to be able to climb this with ease? I started using these questions. Normally traditional. Okay, it? could you just stop there? Mm -hmm. So, who does that confusion belong to? Is that yours or somebody else's? Uh, probably somebody else's. I don't probably know. somebody else's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you if you don't fix your car and you just sit there and you've got the tools there, mm -hmm. you're not going to go very far. Yeah. I went back a second time and he pushed down and it was half the pressure, and he was amazed because. We had done two or three work w worths of two or three weeks worth in one session down the street. Body, would you like to go left or right? <laughs> Body, do you want to go into the shop now? Body, do you want cake now? <laughs> oh, by the way, I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> it's about giving you the tools for you to change. It's about empowering you to know what you already know, and it's about you stepping into that energy, that space and that consciousness that you truly be and, and being you and changing the world. And if that's something that excites your molecules, 